Let favor from Monday till Sunday, let it follow you. From Monday till Sunday, let it follow you. This week you are marvelously helped of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is another powerful prayer session with Apostle Joshua Selma. You know, the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the Bible also says that we should always pray without season. We should pray in and out of season. That is to pray all the time. So in this prayer session with Apostle Joshua Sermon, I want you to open up your heart. Don't take this prayer casually. So when we come to the presence of God, there's something that most times we don't take God serious. And it's not supposed to be so. So in this prayer session, I want you to be serious, be intentional, as we will be joining faith together with the servant of the Lord, Apostle Joshua Selman. And I know that as we engage in this prayer, the Lord will, the Lord will answer our prayers. So stay tuned and be blessed. You're not a man. You're not a man. No. Pray. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. My life must change. My destiny must reveal the glory, the power, the grace of God. Those who are following from whatever nation, please take time to pray. Participate, follow in prayer. says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the Lord in your life 
in the next five minutes i'd like you to lift up your voice before i bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a god who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting god to reveal himself as the god of increase some of you are trusting god for speed trusting god for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of destiny. The maker of businesses. The maker of ministries. walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations first Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 please read with me if you can see ready read wherefore we would have come unto you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us wherefore your breakthrough would have arrived before now wherefore the answer to your prayer would have come before now the God of wonders being made manifest but it looked like he was a boss in office it looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon but the Bible says Satan hindered us are you ready to pray you're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the God of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of Christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus I come against every hindrance every mountain who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Career mountains, spiritual mountains, financial mountains, mountains stopping your influence and your visibility. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Paris Calibranda Gadusia. Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says once upon a time, we read 13, 14, and 15. The Bible says the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you when today you can choose another day but i make up my mind today it says for the egyptians Kabaruski avatar this is a word for someone the egyptians the disappointments i know it happened in 2013 14 15 don't get used to pain don't get used to disappointment god is about to show up he said the egyptians whom you have seen 
today you shall see them again no more forever verse 14 the lord the god of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar hallelujah the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me he says speak to the children of israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of jesus i refuse to remain here god of wonders arise push me forward i need advancement in my life is someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray hallelujah in the name of jesus we are still praying first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray hallelujah praise the lord you're not wasting your time psalm 45 verse 12 something is happening to someone psalm 45 verse 12 i receive it for myself psalm 45 and verse 12 and the daughter of tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah hallelujah please look up one of the reasons why god steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so god made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed these these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time eventually you will find expression we are going to pray these two things it says and i will restore years the first restoration you need is not things i will restore years number two the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together walk in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry 10 years in one year 10 years in one year speed in business
when the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities i assure you in the name of jesus restoration by the god of wonders restoration in the name of jesus and the fortunes of job were restored to him the fortunes of job were restored to him declare speed over your life lord give me speed give me speed give me speed hallelujah praise the name of the lord two more prayers ah calibran dagatosiata esther chapter six esther chapter six something is about to happen to someone esther chapter six from verse one please give it to us on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best. Some of us have served people for years. Some of us raised many children. They are in privileged positions today. And by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when god is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus father i declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the god of wonders the ministry of destiny help us listen to me there's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life believe me you will never rise not in this life 
I assure you I wish I had time I would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors I trust that God will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at if naaman the bible says naaman in second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he said he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous and yet in his house there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free the key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable you must trust god for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people gifted people gifted people from the protocol to your worship team and everyone give is a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth I mean like Ruth was to Naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than I'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonder should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer 
and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny helpers lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger you're going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can I tell you this? Sincerely, I admit to you that every challenge is relative. It's relative to the grace that confronts it. An age-long captivity can melt overnight. I'm hearing a horn. Really, sincerely, sir. I'm hearing like a horn, like a shofar blowing. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. And you see, in the Bible, every time a shofar blows, is announcing a new season. I'm, I'm telling you this believe what I'm saying this is a prophetic word I stand by the spirit of grace and I'm telling you that a new season a new season the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace I'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even I hope you have been blessed by this message thank you for staying to the end if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that each time we release any content at all, you'll be notified. Thank you. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord keep you and protect you and your family. In Jesus' name. Amen.